Have a minute, I'll find the charger for me camera. As you can see, it's running Cyanogen Mod 7, albeit a very tweaked version of Cyanogen Mod. So we've got the icons in the bottom corner. All the status bar and everything's at the bottom on this particular build. It's a tablet tweaked version. We actually have got call and ability on this phone as well. If I just try phone and the number on my phone. And of course you can change the various options for the tablet tweaks. You can have the status bar back at the top if you wish. Or you can throw it back down the bottom. You can modify it so you can disable the dead zone. So I can't drag up from the middle anymore. All I can do is drag up from one side. You can enable full screen and all different sorts of things in there. The rest's pretty much standard cyanogen mod stuff. The about page. Don't know how well this will zoom in. See all the SD cards may have recognised. As is the total space at the bottom, which is the internal storage on the atom. Five point whatever. A USB storage is available, but I haven't got one plugged in. I've never actually tried it. I'll give it a try. Put it in the 
right way around would help. I'm not sure if it'll melt that card because it's. I'm not recognising that it's a. Blank SD card, it thinks it is, because it's an NTFS formatted one. But all the other standard features, it has got the ability to go on the network, but I haven't got a SIM card at the minute. I've also got a novel particular thing that. That's just plain cool. Also, I've modified the side back button to do power. So if I hold down the back button, I get the power menu. Obviously you can't turn the device on with that, but you can turn it off using that. Yeah, we'll try a game. Just got put one on it. Don't know if this will work properly or not. Let's see that a bit. Not very good at playing this game one handed. See, so it runs quite happily. Of course, being Cyan Engine mode, you have all the other applications that you can play with. I've got Gmail, File Manager. Standard clock. You can use Firefox if I want that. The only issue I've got at the minute is the stock keyboard is awful. I need to work out a way of changing that. But seeing as I'm getting a Dell Streak 7 trolley, I should be able to steal it. Keyboard, I'm hoping. Of course, you can jump between tabs and all sorts on Firefox. Pixel QI toggle does work. Courtesy of Mr. Guy on the Notion Inc. Hacks forum. Video playback. I've never actually tried it, so I can't comment. I shall go and have a look. I'm going to. Do you mind that? GPS might be a bit dodgy. Then again, it was dodgy on the original OS, so it's nothing unusual. Go back to mount, EMMC, scroll down, because I know I've got a file on here. Video can't be played at the minute, for some reason I don't know why, I'll have to have a look at that. You've even got the vertical thingy uh, status bar for installing things. This is all part of the the volume still just as loud. That's all I wanted to show you at the minute. So they have full market access when it catches up.
camera also works.